All right, guys, Mike Marciano, Marciano team at Keller Williams. So uh, people ask me all the time, uh, what, what, why invest in real estate? And uh, the answer to me, very, very simply, is leverage, okay? You can't buy a stock with leverage, you can't buy a bond with leverage, but you can buy real estate with leverage. What does that mean? That means you can use a mortgage, you can use a tool where you're putting down a certain percentage uh, and not the entire amount of the purchase up front. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you, uh, I had a client that uh, wanted to purchase condos, um, and I went through this process with her to explain why not purchase them all in cash uh, versus uh, using leverage and using uh, financing in order to purchase, because she wanted to buy almost a million dollars in condos, uh, three to be exact, uh, in all cash. 996000 was the exact number, okay? So I'll, I'll go through the numbers for you, okay? So... Um, she wanted to put down 996000 total for three units. Okay? Those units were going to um, put out a combined gross of $111,300 per year. After all the expenses, the net income on that property was 67000 Four hundred and eighty-four thousand, right? So just realize we're in New York, and the taxes in New York are probably one of the highest in the country. Okay, so keep that in mind. A big chunk of the money here is going to go to taxes, uh, homeowners insurance, um, homeowners association dues, and monthly maintenance fees. So this is what the net operating income would be. All right. So uh, what I explained to her is if, if we were just able to take this 996000 this is where the leverage comes in, and obtain financing at 25% down, you can actually get a mortgage at Uh, right now, you're getting a mortgage on that somewhere in the three and a half percent interest rate, three percent. I I just went a little higher at three and a half. Okay, so uh, when when you do the math, that comes out to three thousand three hundred and forty-two dollars per month for the mortgage and interest. Okay, and um, basically whatever other uh, expenses that you have that you're paying up here. Uh, we, we work our way down, okay? So basically, when, when you do all the numbers, uh, at the end of the day, the difference uh, in, in cash on cash return is tremendous, okay? So with this first example, she was going to get 6.8% cash on cash return. And now, when, when you come down and you take this monthly mortgage at 67484 is your net operating income, you take away about 40108 for the monthly mortgage and uh, principal and interest payment, you end up with about $27,376 per year in gross profit. Okay? So if you were to take that and you were divided by the uh, down payment and the closing cost, down payment would be two hundred and forty-nine thousand, and the closing cost would be about thirty-seven thousand. Okay, I think it was thirty-seven three fifty to be exact. Okay, you would take that twenty-seven three seventy-six and divide it by the total cash outlay that she would have had on these three units, and you actually come out with a return of 9.56%. Are you still awake? Okay, so now understand, you're getting uh, almost 3% more by leveraging on a yearly basis. What's more important than that is she only used $286,000 of her nearly million dollar budget. So what can she do? She can take the rest of that million dollar budget and repeat this action at least uh, three more times, and what would happen is, if you if you uh, were to look at it, is she can actually do it 3.4 more times. But three times, you would be roughly about eighty some odd thousand dollars 
roughly $81,000 that she would make on her $996,000 as opposed to $67,000. This is why you leverage.